Now, I'd like to give a message to bedwetting liberals, to lefty liberals who somehow think that they can offer up political policy sacrifices to the teal gods and the teal gods will show them mercy. Principally, the leader of the Liberal Party in Victoria, his name is Matthew Guy. Now, Matthew Guy believes that if he can somehow adopt more aggressive positions when it comes to, say, climate change. For example, he wants to legislate 50%, not the federal government's 43%, but 50% emissions reduction. Also, supporting the treaty process that's going through at a lightning pace in Victoria right now. And also promising to give more money and more powers to the oversight bodies of the Corruption Commission and the brave ombudsman in Victoria, that somehow all of this will save them from a teal attack. Because remember, what they're about is climate and integrity. Well, guess what? It's not going to work because exactly the same people are getting ready to do exactly the same thing because they hate the Liberal Party. Because the political hack is to be able to pretend that you are a clean skin who is a former disaffected Liberal, but in the case of that person you just saw, she's a two-time staffer for multiple MPs. And it's, of course, there to hoover up the preferences of the Greens, the Labor Party, everyone else on the ticket, and unless the Liberal Party gets 50.1%, then there's no chance of being able to win a seat. Now, the place that they're deciding to go for a run in the Victorian Parliament is one of the uh, state seats that was in and around the uh, federal seat of Goldstein. Now, remember, Trent Zimmerman, formerly of North Sydney, and Tim Wilson, formerly of Goldstein, they were, of course, people who you would have thought would have got mercy from the Teals. Remember, they were the people who were on Radio National constantly saying, same-sex marriage, same-sex marriage, got to change, got to change. Was any mercy shown to these people? No. So my simple message to lefty liberals is they're coming for you. They're coming for you because they hate the footy jersey you're wearing. And it doesn't matter which wing you associate yourself with or how you think you can outcompete. The reality is, is that a former Labor staffer is going to pretend to be an independent, that a grassroots organisation will get behind that free media through the ABC, the Channel 9 papers and The Guardian will endlessly talk up their chances despite the fact that they will have fewer voters than the Liberal Party. They will have 20 times more signs making it look like everyone in the electorate is going to vote for them and that's how the hack works regardless of who it's against.